Lady. How fortunate that you have arrived. Your aunt and uncle are here to deliver Jane from London. How is Jane? She's in the drawing room. I'm quite over him, Lizzie. If you passed me in the street, I'd hardly notice. London is so diverting. It's true. There's so much to entertain. What news from Kent? Nothing. At least not much to entertain. Katie, stop making such what? a fuss. Oh, my head. She asked me a fuss. You probably can't afford it. It's some better company. Katie, what's the matter? I'm just as much right as Lydia. Yes, if I could but go to Brighton. I'm also because Let I'm two years older. Lydia's been invited to go to Brighton with the force. Look, the sea bathing would set me up very nicely. I should dine with the officers every night. Please, Papa, don't let her go. Lydia will never be easy until she's exposed herself in some public place or other, and we can never expect her to do it with so little inconveniences under the present circumstances. If you, dear father, do not take the trouble to check her, she will be fixed forever as the silliest and most determined flirt who ever made her family ridiculous. And Kitty will follow, as she always does. Lizzie, we shall have no peace until she goes. Peace? Is that really all you care about? Colonel Foster's a sensible man. You will keep her out of any real mischief. And she's far too poor to be an object of prey to anyone. Father, it's dangerous. I am certain the officers will find women better if they were. Let us hope, in fact, that her stay in Brighton will teach her her own insignificance. At any rate, she can hardly grow any worse. If she does, we'd be obliged to lock her up for the rest of her life. Lizzie, dear, you'd be welcome to accompany us. The Peak District is not Brighton, and officers are very thin on the ground, which may influence your decision. Come to the Peak District with us, Lizzie, and get some fresh air. The glories of nature. What are men compared to rocks and mountains? And believe me, men are either eaten up with arrogance or stupidity. They are amiable, they're so easily led, they have no minds of their own whatsoever. Oh, take care, my love. That savours strongly of bitterness. Mm. 